So for today, we're going to be looking at Synthoseps. I got asked for not too long ago. And of course, like I always say, if you guys want to see a specific exotic, an armor set, uh, a theme, anything like that, let me know in the comments below. I'll definitely make that video for you guys or at least attempt. But yeah, if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor and help me sleep comfortably at night without crying, a subscription would be very much appreciated. Obviously, if you like the video, but even if even a like uh sharing with your friends really does help so i really appreciate it but other than that let's get into it so these are the synthoseps the base look of them i really like them specifically because i really like the like lightning on the forearms and on the shoulder pieces but i also hate it because it doesn't shader that well sometimes uh specifically the shoulder pads on the top not only that i think the shoulder shoulder pads are way too high personally i just don't think that's really cool and even one of the ornaments is even worse about it so as for how it shaders like i said it shaders pretty well but sometimes these shoulder pads on top will actually take a different color and sometimes you're just gonna be like yeah well i i fucking hate this so that's pretty much it for the base look uh for the first example set i have is a casual look i do have another set with this because i decided to make another one because i feel like the casual set on an exotic is usually a cop out because a casual set really goes with ev almost everything so for the helmet we're using the eidolon pursuant hump this is one of my favorite helmets so far because it gives off that punk vibe for the chest piece it's the same thing very punk and very casual for the boots we're using the lost pacific agrees which is one of my favorite boots when i'm trying to do like a casual look for the mark we're actually using memory of Cade because of just how clean it looks i really like the fact that there's not a lot to it it's just it's just cloth on one side of the hip but the belt's really good like everything just looks very clean so let's talk about the casual look first i decided to do a casual look for it because i've tr I tried almost everything and nothing looks good with the synthoseps it was definitely a challenge uh but because i went once i was done i, I just thought <sighs> I feel like every time I do a casual look for an exotic, I feel like I'm copying out because I usually tend to like to do a theme around the exotic. Like if, for example, if it looks like it's cowboy themed, I will try my best to go into that cowboy theme. The reason I'm bringing up cowboy is because the next exotic we were doing is Lucky Pants, which is heavy cowboy feels. So for that one, I try to go in with cowboy as much as possible so because i kind of felt like i copped out with casual i decided to make another set which i actually like this one a lot more it doesn't fit the vibe of synthoseps but if you guys want to steal it I'm more than happy to uh the next one is going to be the forian helm definitely one of my favorite helmets if you're trying to go for an organic look uh, the chest piece we're using is the pylos following plate one of my favorite chest pieces so far because it's so cool for the boots, we're using the Descending Echo Greaves because I want to keep that like organic metal, organic like armor feel. And the Descending Echo Greaves is a great example of that. And then the Nemean Mark for the waist, because specifically because of the waist. If you guys see, it looks very organic, very like it, it melds with every piece so well. And I didn't even think this was gonna look good until I put the Crucible Vermilion on it. And then that's when I was like, that's it. This is the, this is it. This is really cool. So this is definitely my favorite so far. I do like the casual look, don't get me wrong, but I feel like this one fits a little bit more. But I will say that the red on the top of the shoulders does really kill the vibe for me because I would have much preferred if it was more of a, I guess the same color as the armor pieces. But at the same time, that's why the that shoulder piece is red, because that's actually cloth. It's not armor. So that is unfortunate, but I still think this looks really cool. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like the casual look? Do you guys like the organic monster look? Let me know. But the first ornament we're going to be looking at is Flex Enhanced Replicate. This is the SIVA inspired uh, ornament. And I've already made a look for this, which I'm just going to grab from that one video, which is the SIVA inspired Guardians. If you guys haven't seen it, stop the video right now open it in a new tab watch it and then come back tell me how it is but this is definitely one of my favorite looks we'll look at it once we are done actually looking how this uh exotic shaders which 
This ornament shader is pretty terrible. Uh, the red organic muscle tissue does not change color, unfortunately. The, if I remember correctly, the actual like triangle things, the SIVA triangles actually don't change color as well. The only thing that's gonna change color in this is literally everything else that I just didn't point out. So the under armor, the shoulder pads, everything changes color other than that. So. It is unfortunate because this does look really cool and I would have loved to see the SIVA tissue muscle change color. That would have been really cool, but whatever. Uh, as for the example set, like I said, I ripped it out from that one video because why would I not? Like, come on. So for the helmet, we're going to be using the Veritas helm. Definitely one of my favorite helmets. Uh, the Legacy Oath plate for the chest piece because I want to retain that electrical look the star cross footsteps because the under armor actually looks like muscle tissue and then for the mark we're using the chem flesh mark because i love the chains on it even though i have found a few other ones that i i like a little bit more but i love the chains it just really feels uh very metal i guess i don't know how to explain it but like i really like it so I'm not going to talk too much about this because I did make a video on it. Again, watch that video if you guys haven't seen it because it's really cool SIVA inspired stuff. But for the last ornament we're going to be looking at is the uh, photodraulic actuators. I guess that's how you say that. Definitely one of the coolest looking ornaments for the Syntheseps. It's just unfortunate that the shoulder pads are way fucking high, like way higher than any of the other ornaments, which is terrible in my opinion because it just looks weird personally don't get me wrong i really really like how it looks unfortunately it does not shader that well so you guys can see right now you guys will see that the orange straps actually don't change colors so if you guys don't like orange that's tough titties because that's literally the orange that as for the example set i really like this one it came out really cool for the helmet we're using a star crossed helm just for the casual look of it for the chest piece we're using the couturier blueson which is a really cool chest piece that i never thought i would be wearing but i really like how it came out with this whole set for the boots we're using the valkyrian greaves which is really weird because i never thought i was going to be using this ever but i really like how it balances the orange because previously i was using ring walker greaves and that had no orange and Thankfully, I switched out to something that actually has orange at the bottom so that way it can equal out some of the orange because it was pure white before. For the mark, we're actually using the Moonfang X7 specifically because I wanted to have the chest piece and the boots, the white connecting them, not be inter interfered at all. So that's why I'm using this one specifically uh, with a different shader so that way it can just be pure white. and. Another reason why I'm using the Moonfang is because I really like how it's just a really small mark. You don't have to worry about too much cloth in the back or in the front or in the sides because all the cloth is in the back and it doesn't even go up below your knee. So that's why it's one of my favorite marks if I want to do something small and something chill. So this is definitely my favorite just because it looks really cool, very thematic to the actual arms. I also am using the War Weary. This is a shader from... Uh, it's from crucible if i remember correctly it's a very old one and i really really like it because the orange and the white is really good together and the fact that i combined pieces that i feel like aren't too crazy of an orange but gives enough orange to be very tasteful like example of the boots i really love that the orange on the bottom are just on the calves i really like that and the orange straps there's there is orange in this set but i don't want it to be the main color i want the main color to be white so i know this one i explained a little bit more but i really really like how this one came out because it just i don't know it just came out really good in my opinion let me know what you guys think in the comments below titans let me know what you guys think syntheseps is definitely a hard exotic to fashion around it's not impossible especially if for the flex enhance replicate the siva ornament if we get a siva inspired season then you guys will have ammo for that for the photo drool uh actuators i think if you lean into the white and orange it looks really cool and then for the base look you can pretty much do anything but just be aware that it's still gonna look weird it's just syntheseps is just a weird looking exotic so 
Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on the social media, all the links are in the description below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Uh, currently, I have Lucky Pants, Path of the Burning Steps, and no backup plans left. And then after that, we'll probably get back into my own that I've been trying to do. Or if people comment, then we'll do those as well because I have a lot of content. Now that I've kind of completely ignored Solstice, I am i don't really care about getting the blows anymore. I'll probably get it for my Hunter because I already have some done. But as for the Titan and Warlock, I'm probably just going to give up because I don't really give a shit. So I'll probably make that a video, but let me know what you guys think. Be safe and I'll see you guys later.